Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I got into, I guess, collecting, not so much shooting, but collecting long time ago with World War I and World War II military firearms. I love history, and one of my favorites back then was Springfield Armory. Now, it is not the same Springfield Armory that we have today that makes the XDM. The original Springfield Armory was founded in 1777 and closed in 1968. This Springfield Armory was founded in 1974. Now, being that they're totally unrelated, for me, it was just kind of uh, the name stuck. But here's the thing. As far as my experience goes, it's the same awesome quality, reliability that I loved in the founding company as it is today. I have owned several Springfields over the years. The first Springfield that I got was the XDM 9mm. And I will be honest with you, the first time that I put it in my hand, it was love at first sight, or I guess love at first grip. There was a lot of reasons why it was instant love. The first and foremost is I just, I love how it feels in my hand. The, the grip, just the size, the angle, the texture, everything. I like this more than any other pistol I have held thus far. Now, the next one was the trigger. And the XDM, the M match, we've got a match barrel and... When I first got it, you know, it's like, okay, what's a match barrel in a pistol? I can tell you for years I could outgroup any other pistol with my XDM. And and still to this day, I find it more consistently accurate than any other pistol that, that I've shot or owned. Now there's a lot of high-end competition pistols out there that I haven't shot and I haven't owned, but just kind of for the you know the average guy. This is a game changer. Now, the other big reason that I really liked the XDM was the magazine capacity. At the time, it was 19 plus one, which far exceeded anything else. I shouldn't say far exceeded. Most everything was 17. You know, my Glock, my Ruger, um, all those were 17, but this was 19, and that was just two rounds more, and I liked everything about it. Now, basically, to make a long story short, it was everything that I liked about this. The grip, the barrel, the sights, the feel, the interchangeable back strap, the mag capacity, the rail. I mean, it was just, it was the gun for me. Now, at the time, I didn't know that reliability was going to be one of the major things that I grew to love about this. I had the first one for years put thousands of rounds through it. And honestly, I don't recall it ever jamming. I'm sure it did. I mean, there's just no way that I ran it all those years without it jamming. But I have no recollection of ever having issues. Now, I can't say that about other pistols that I've had or all the friends that I've had over shooting over the years. I mean, I've seen a lot of jams, a lot of issues, and a lot of it was ammo-related. But this ate up everything that I fed it over a decade and spit it out. Now, as much as I loved my XDM and I had a matching 45, I actually sold both of them. Why? Because I got a can. Then I needed the threaded barrel. So all I did was replace them, both of them, and I got matching 9 and 45 with the threaded barrel and the suppressor sights because I wanted to be able to use my iron sights over the suppressor. Um, I took off the rear sight and I put a red dot on and I really like that because I like shooting out at distance and I've done some videos with this where I'm planking away at 200 yards and that's just way too much fun. So then here just recently I came across their new XDM Elite OSP optic sight pistol and this is basically ready for a red dot still has the same iron sight still has the threaded barrel 
it's got some improvements. So that's what I'm going to focus on here is, is what's different with this with the other versions that I've had thus far. Okay, so let's just do a quick specs and tech and take a look at it. Now, I almost forgot one of the really important features is the safety double check here. Okay, both this and that have to be depressed at the same time to discharge the weapon. If I don't push on this, won't go. If I push on this, but not the center part, it won't go. Have to have both to fire. Okay, now one thing that I noticed right away in a Springfield's watching, this is my original. This has what, you know, the dots, I call those sight enhancement. And I really like those. And this one, well, it does now, but it didn't. It was just plain old black iron. And I put these on. I really like the other sights. I would like to see those included. Otherwise, you can just put these on yourself really easy, but they're not permanent and they do scratch off. Okay, so that's the specs and text. Short and simple, KISS. What's the difference between my first and now this version. A lot's the same, but there's a few things that are different. The first is the extended mag. Now, and the removable mag well. That really, it's more the mag than it is the pistol, except they give you this extended mag well. And I do like the removable mag well because it makes it easy to slap in from any position for quick changes. The mag itself is just a little bit bigger, but it gives us 22 plus one. The next thing that I like, and you lefties will like this, is now I have an ambi slide release, both left and right side. I also have the improved slide serrations. You can see here the difference between the original and the Elite. So the grip's a little bit better here. I like this. And last but not least, the Meta Trigger, okay? Meta Trigger stands for Matched Enhanced Trigger Assembly. As if the Springfield's trigger wasn't really nice to begin with, it got just a little bit better. And we take a quick look here. One of the big advantages of this is, is it's cut so that we can put a plate rather than like my first one where I had to mount the plate on top that gets it higher up. Okay, it changes the angle. This allows it to sit lower so I can look right over the top easier with a really small optic like this SIG Romeo Zero. Okay, so those of you with short attention spans, let's just get to shooting. What I want to do is I want to zero this at 50 yards with the iron sights. And I use that term very loosely, zero, because these are non-adjustable sights. So hopefully they line up well. What I want to do is I want to bench it, see what kind of groups we can get. We'll step back to 50. We'll put it on some steel, see how it does there. And then I'm going to put my optic on it, and we're going to see how it does with that. It's not a bad group. It's not the best. It's definitely not the worst. I'm using Wolf Ammo. I've got those suppressor sights. I'm happy with that. Now let's get to some steel. So that's 10 rounds of mag tech. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's 10 rounds of the gecko, and I'm using the red dot. I've always had great accuracy 
with a gecko. Yeah, we get a, definitely a group shrinking when we get to use that red dot instead of those suppressor sights. In case you know my philosophy, if I can bang away on the steel with a pistol at 100, it's a good shooter. Yeah, so there you go. That's not bad with suppressor iron sights. Really happy with that. Now I want to miss and play around with getting a red dot on here and then reach out at some distance and see what we can do. Okay, so now I'm going to look down and use the iron sights, not the red dot. Okay, so now I'll try both eyes open, just using the red dot. Hey guys, if you like this video, if you follow Beyond Seclusion, help support Beyond Seclusion, it is really easy. All you got to do is go to our webpage, use these links anytime you go to these to buy anything. That helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is our Amazon page. That's a huge one. I've got my crazy stupid deals there, optics, anything that I can find on Amazon, I put there. And if you go in through this link, anything that you purchase on Amazon helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is is my Patriot t-shirts and my swag. These are now available on Tandem Cross. Check them out. All this helps support Beyond Seclusion. The easiest way to use the links in the Amazon is simply save them as bookmarks. And anytime you go to Amazon or you go to Cabela's or any of these, just click on that link. And anything that you get helps support Beyond Seclusion. Guys, I couldn't do it without your help. Thank you. We're just going to try it with a can, make sure everything works good. 
Gonna use both iron sight and the red dot. We'll start off using the red dot. Now let's try using just the iron sight. Okay, if you're gonna use a can, you've gotta try some subsonic. Nice. Sometimes the can really changes the zero. Apparently it seems to be doing okay. I'm satisfied we're still hitting that at 200 yards. There you go guys, Springfield's new XDM Elite, the OSP. You decide for yourself what you think of it. I'm really happy. I like the changes. I like the extended mag. Um, I definitely like that it's optics ready and I can mount straight to the gun instead of messing with, you know, taking off one of the sights. The only thing that I have come across that I would change and that would just be put the sight augmentation on there. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and make sure and sub. Until next time, happy shooting and be safe.